This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Hey everybody, Marco here with another ChatGPT4 prompt, and this one will be for writing an article. Around 1500 words, we're gonna control the paragraphs. Uh, I'm gonna show you the prompt and the instructions that you give the button. I'm gonna show you how to go back and forth with the bot just so that everything's clear, just so the bot understands what it is that you want. Uh, if, if you still don't have or you haven't gotten into ChatGPT4, go to openai.com. You can look at the research. Yeah, you can go to OpenAI, look at, look at the products. They have uh, what uh, ChatGPT4. They have DALI. They have several products here. They have products for developers. It just go through here and look through the website. They have a lot of information here. Most of you already know how to get to chat GPT four or chat GPT 3.5. I don't know if it's, it's been rolled out to everybody. Uh, I'm not paying that close attention to it, but at least in here, you know, to go to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. That's chat.openai.com forward slash chat. And what we're going to do before we start in here is take a look at our prompt. We're going to engineer our prompts. So, of course, you guys know that I start with ignore all prompts. It's what I've gotten used to doing. I know that from here on the left hand side, I can control it and start a new chat. I can I can do that here. I'm just used to doing it here right when I'm writing it out. I'm going to tell it that it is. Uh, so I'm, I'm even going to change this around. You are an expert content writer you are also an expert in seo i'm going to tell it that it is i'm not going to tell it to play pretend let's say that any of that i don't want it pretending i want it to understand that it is an expert writer and that it is an expert in seo next i'm going to say create a 1500 word or longer article for the term and when you get this prompt all you have to do is put your topic here so since we're on this topic i am going to say prompt engineering the article must be creative and in human like style and in human like style we're going to use contractions idioms transitional phrases interjections dangling modifiers and examples now listen this part here is where you can really separate yourself from other people when you're writing content because there are other things that you can use right from literature from, from understanding literature and from writing there are depending on what it is that you're writing about if you're writing about prompt engineering you don't want this thing exaggerating you don't want this i, I don't think you want uh, personification for example I don't think you want onomatopoeia you might uh, hyperbole so just to take a, a quick look through this on, on other things that you can tell it to use when you're writing you can use sim similes I'm not gonna get gonna give you the explanation you guys can read it here but you can do similes metaphors personification alliteration onomatopoeia hyperbole irony colloquialisms repetition anaphora now in SEO and especially in something like this you don't want it too repetitive so we're not going to do that we're not going to use anaphora uh, imagery descriptive language that appeals to the senses so we might want to insert imagery here uh, do we want it to use dialogue he said she said for example she responded uh, and humor do you want it to interject humor into the writing because it can, it can make it more engaging that's when you start thinking here and say okay so i want this is what i want in my article i want it to be human-like but i want you i want you to use contractions you can use idioms transitional phrases interjections dangling modifiers and use examples write for me as if i were i'm going to control that also in the seventh grade i don't want it too, comp too complex i want this uh where people who read it can understand it so write this uh, article as if I were in the seventh grade. Avoid rep repetitive phrases, so 
Remember, repetition? We don't want that. And no unnatural sentence structures. Avoid uh, long and overly complex sentences that are difficult for a human to read. The article should contain approximately 20 to 25 paragraphs, and each paragraph should contain approximately 175 to 200 words. I'm going to add that the title tag must be descriptive and contain the, the keyword. I'm going to go with the topic here. Same as here. So I'm just going to copy paste just to make sure I don't misspell it. And paste. The article should include a creative title, SEO meta description, introduction, headings, H1, subheadings, H2, H3, bullet points, or, or number lists, if needed, FAQs, and a conclusion. Make sure the article is plagiarism free. Make sure I missed that. The article is Write in HTML without an HTML or body tag. I wanted all you know, the primary title in H1, subtitles, conclusion. And after the article, I wanted to write FAQ schema in JSON plus LD format. This is really important here. Do you understand what I want? I'm going to ask the machine that. And I'm going to tell it to ask questions before it starts writing. So let's take a look. I'm going to click on this, select it all, copy it, go to chat GPT, paste it in there, and hit either the arrow button or this arrow icon and enter. Whichever way you do it, it's, oh, it says something went wrong. Give me a second. Here we go. I am going to hit enter and off it goes. Let me pause it while this is writing. So this is really interesting to see because this started writing before it asked me the questions and it understood that the word I wanted was engineering, not prompt engineering. So I stopped it and I said, ask questions before you start writing. And then it asked me, what I was expecting it to ask me before it started. It's great seeing this so you guys can see that, that, that the, it's not perfect, it's, it's code. And code is going to make mistakes, especially when it's trying to interpret what it is that you're trying to say. So I'm gonna tell it here, the topic is prompt engineering. So now it's going to, tell me that it better understands what it is that I'm trying to say. And so I'm, it, it's asking me a question. Before I begin, do you have any specific questions or areas of focus that you would like me to cover in the article? To cover prompt engineering in general and give examples. So I can cover prompt engineering in general and provide examples and I'm going to tell it to go ahead and write. And I'll pause it while it's writing. Okay, I'm back. Now, as you can see, it wrote very few paragraphs and then it started writing the FAQ schema and it stopped. If it stops, you just tell it to continue. And I'll pause it while it finishes. Now what it did, rather than finish giving me the uh, the FAQ in JSON LD schema format, it went back, well it wrote some of it, but it went back and continued writing about prompt engineering. Again, this is really interesting to see because I'll just tell it, you did not follow these instructions and I'll go and copy this again please rewrite 
the article following the instructions. And I'll pause it. So now that I've given it the instructions again, it's gone through, it's telling me that I'd understood, it's giving me the bullet list, it's giving me the headings and, and paragraphs. It stopped here at the conclusion, and I'm just gonna say, more please, and it's going to continue, so I'll pause it. Now it's writing the FAQs, and then at the end, it should write the FAQ scheme. If it doesn't, I'll just prompt it to do so. So there it is, it came with the conclusion again, but it did not give me the FAQ schema. So I'm just going to say, give me the above FAQs in FAQ uh, schema in JSON LD format. So off it goes. And here it is. It finished the article. It gave me the JSON plus LG schema. Now what I have is a framework. I might not, I might use this just like it is. It depends. I have to go back and read it and make sure that it's saying what I want. I want to, if I want to add my voice to it, I should. If I want to add my, my brand and my company voice to this, I should. It depends now on, on what I want, but at least now, it understood my instructions. It's given me the article. I have my H1. I have my title. I have my meta description. I have it in paragraphs and in H2s, H3, H3s, FAQ. Here's the bullet list. Here's everything that I asked for. And it happened that quick. So the last word on this is that this, what we're doing with the Heavy Hitter Club and why I'm giving away these prompts that I'm, that I'm working on that, that, I've been engineering, that's what it's called. So please don't say I think I'm a prompt engineer because I don't, it's what it's called. What doing this, uh, the editing or coming up with these prompts so that you get the proper output, creating the input is prompt engineering. At any rate, the reason for this is that we are conducting our annual Heavy Hitter Club charity webinars. It's for a very worthy cause and I'm going to type out right here. This is what I'll be giving away. So HTTPS heavy hitter dot club forward slash HHC forward slash B uh, hero. Please go to that URL and read what the charity we're supporting is all about. Uh, I'm not going to do a pitch here. You guys can go and read. If you don't want to, I'm giving this away anyway because my part of the charity webinars is giving. It's your part to decide whether your heart is moved enough to give and your wallet is going to decide how much. It's up to you. You're going to get this free anyway. You go to our, our Heavy Hitter Club channel in YouTube and you can get these and you can get others. You can go to my, my Facebook page and you can get it from there. It'll be in the video description. So you can get these things for free. You don't have to give. But if your heart is moved into giving, then please, it's the right thing to do. Once you read about the charity, once you see what it's all about, you will know this is the right thing to do. What we do in return is not only give this, but we're going to give you about seven hours worth of free, free information actionable information. People are going to talk about how to weave your brand into your content. By all means, edit your content. Look at how you can present it in a better way in, in the voice of your company. That's very important. Your brand, how your brand speaks, how your brand is shown throughout the web. This is very important. This is just the foundation of where you should go. If you're writing about prompt engineering, the instructions and how you tell it to write in human-like fashion is different than if you were being a, a, a creative writer, if you were writing horror, poetry, uh, songs, lyrics, whatever it is that you're doing. You can tailor these instructions. You can engineer these instructions, this prompt 
for your particular needs. When you're doing it, please remember that we're doing this for all for a, for a charity, for a charity that takes care of, uh, of some of the neediest people in Costa Rica. So there you go. I'll share this in the description. If it's too long, I'll share it on my Facebook page and, and I'll leave the link. So until next time, see ya. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.